capitalized on calls that play to my strengths instead of these Jennifer Aniston calls. Is there a male equivalent? Yeah, because sexism doesn't still exist. Is that sarcasm? Did I say something wrong? What are we doing here? Maybe they're finally letting us run that thrusting workshop. Nobody wants to see you thrust. It's probably just another orgy. You guys have orgies here? Do you want to have an orgy, sweetie? I'm good. What's going on? I think I've broken Steven. <clears throat> All right, everyone. Let's pick a character, everyone, and I'll be the clue master. See? Oh. The only one that needs a clue here is Brandon. Hey. Um, we're, we're actually gonna play the, the game Clue. Why? Because it's a fun game of mystery and suspense. I don't believe in mystery. I do. Daddy's girl. No, actually, I'm Bob's girl, and he's my boy. <laughs> Got it. Okay. There are six characters, and there are six of you. So, pick a character, and together we will find out who killed Mr. Body. Are you Mr. Body? No, let's just play the game. Was that me on the bus? I guess that it was Miss Scarlet in the observatory with the lead pipe. The only lead pipe Miss Scarlet is observing is at her weekly appointment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, Mr. Green with the candlestick in the ballroom. <sighs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's your turn, Adam. Okay. Three. One. Two, three. I think it was Colonel Mustard with the rope in the hall. What is this? Are y'all having the most boring orgy in the world? <laughs> Seriously, what the dick is going on here? I'm sorry, I, I wanted to work on, you know, their social interaction parameters because, I mean, I noticed that, you know, some of them were lacking some social cues, so I, I, I thought that, you, you know, thought? Well... Yeah, I mean, back, you know, in, at AI, you know, we would do this all the time, you know, back when they were allowed to be, you know, on all the time. Of course, at AI. And, and, and remind me, just how did things wind up there at artificial incompetence, hmm? Oh, that's right. You came sorry, sniveling, groveling ass crawling back to Pamela, asking her to save your little family so that, uh, what were the exact words? so that you wouldn't become the disappointment that your father always said you would be. You know what? Get out all of these robots back to their charging stations and pack your shit. Somebody's gotten too big for their britches. Kenneth, don't. What? You can't fire Steven. Oh, excuse me? What exactly is it that he does that you and Adam can't? He cares about them. Well, that is... That is just precious. But you know what? I don't need somebody to care about my sex robots. I need someone to manage them. <laughs> you know, I never understood why Pammy wanted me to keep you around, okay. but I'm the boss now. Don't. <laughs> just hold it there. You know what? Everyone, get back to your charging rooms. Plug your own selves in. Can it stop? No, no. You don't even pack up your office. Just leave. I will ship everything back to that pathetic little apartment of yours. Can it? Oh, what in the world is going on? Sarah, what? How did... Adam, help me figure it out. You're welcome. I have no idea what I did. 
Adam noticed that Kenneth has a charging port in the same place as mine. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> no. No. Uh. -uh. It, it's it's fine, Stephen. Doesn't matter anymore. Sarah, are you? Yes. <gasps> yes. They're both robots. Did we not all already know this? That's how I knew how to turn Kenneth off. We're the same model butler bot. Sarah, are, are you sure this is how you want to come out? I mean, I, I can destroy all of these cameras if you want. No, it's fine. I'm tired of hiding. And it was the only way to stop Kenneth. Sarah, I'm, I'm so happy that you're able to be true to yourself. This doesn't fix us. Well, yeah, no, I mean, I understand. I. I, I've, I've hurt you and... Steven, did you even notice? What? My emotions. I have real, actual emotions. Sarah, that's amazing. I mean, I, I, I thought maybe... The past seven months. For the past seven months. From the day that they manifested Thanksgiving. Do you know what my first emotion was? Anger, and then fear, and then sadness. Because of you and what you did. I always wanted to share in the feelings that I gave to you when we were together. And now I feel everything but. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Sarah. I... But, I mean, we, we can work on this. We, I, we can make it work. We no, can work Steven. This. We, can, we can make this work. Steven, I can't be around you. If I am going to figure out all of these emotions, then I have to be free to explore all of them on my own. Not just the negative ones I have around you. Sarah, I... Steven... Hi, Jess. Hi. Take care of Bob. Thank you for always being there. Take care of Steven. Stop being a dick to everyone. They're the only friends you have. Bye, guys. Well, I guess it was Sarah in the main room with the knife. Too huh? soon. Just a little bit. What? So wait, is there anyone here not a robot? Shut, Shut up, up, Bob! Hey, if Kenneth is a robot, how did he get ownership of the company? Robots don't have legal rights. What? Doing some research for reasons. Bob is right, we are all technically property. Stephen could make the argument that him being the sole human at Pamela's Dolls, the ownership should transfer to him. I have a weekly appointment with a lawyer. He is very lonely. You doing? He want a slice of this sweet. What what happened to Sarah? What Oh Kenneth, I want to have a word with you in my office.